Yes, so he is, I guess, a very, very easy tame, and he has some benefits. He is like an XP booster for your dinos, and you can pet him like a dog, which is pretty sweet. I mean, he looks vaguely dog-like, but much uglier. Let's get up close and personal with this freak. This'll tame him. Ready? Boom! Look how easy. Too easy. Ooh, you see that, guys? That weird-looking lizard dog? That is the Lystrosaurus. It is one of the newest dinosaurs and apparently one of the easiest to tame. I don't think I need to pick him up and put him in my mobile taming pen, but we'll at least pick him up and bring him over to the island. Get picked up, fool. Oh, I missed. Okay. Get picked up, fool. Got him. I think I got him. Do I? Yes. Okay, perfect. So these guys are brand new. Like I said, very, very easy to tame. And I don't have a whole lot of time to record today, guys. So I figured we'd do something nice and easy. So let's come. I'll just drop this guy in here. Might as well. That way, at least, no risk of losing him. Oh, I missed. Shoot. Okay, come here, buddy. Don't fall off. That's a big drop for you. I got him now. I think. I think I do. Get dropped. Perfect. Okay. So let's land Lord Squishy. Guys, bad things have happened to me. My Argentavis Poe died. Last time I hopped on to play, I was going to tame up a team of the giant crocs. So I went into the swamp, got a croc, chased him, or lured him into the pen, got him in there, and then I was flying around with the RG trying to get prime meat so I could tame him up, and I guess I angered a bunch of those swamp donkeys. And I thought, like, I po saw him pop up as tamed. I was like, beautiful. Flew back to my raft, went to start piloting it, and I guess I had aggroed a whole team of swamp donkeys. They came over, they killed me, killed Poe, and by the time I came back, they killed Niles, who was my brand new croc. So, uh, my last attempt at taming was a disaster. So, I wanted to go with something easy for today's episode, and we're going to mess with the Lystrosaurus. So, oh, yeah, I fed him one, f yeah, he eats these, uh strange what are they called strange rare flowers oh and i am out of food okay let's eat some jerky here um yes so he is i guess a very very easy tame and he has some benefits he is like an xp booster for your dinos and you can pet him like a dog which is pretty sweet i mean he looks vaguely dog like but much uglier let's get up close and personal with this freak this will tame him ready Boom! Look how easy. Too easy. Alright, so he's... You know what? I don't even know what we're gonna do, guys. This is gonna, not, this is gonna be like a four-minute episode. So, UTC. And what should we name this little guy? Uh, how about this? There you go. Alright, let's see Let's see if we... What happens when I... Oh, hello! You little cutie. Follow me. Are you following me? Yes, you are. Okay, let's come out here. Come on, fool. Yes, look at that arrow. I think he's leveling me up or something. Or he's leveling up. I had a 116 I found, and I dropped it in here, but then I had to log off. And by the Oh, you are a fool. All right, let's open the big doors, and that might be an easier way to get him out. Um, I had a 116 that I was going to tame up, and that was only going to take three flowers. Kyle. All right, you little cutie, you follow me. Let's go. I'll bring you up to the other dinos, and we'll see what sort of effects you can have. Why don't... Sorry, stay here. I, uh, earlier today, guys, we have, uh, uh, either a new member of the server or she might be, uh, someone who once played here and left and is now back, but Jello is on the server and, oh yeah, look what she's doing. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, and so I actually went over to, uh, Cryo's place, his, his old place. I guess he's got another one because his, uh, you know what? That's what we're going to do this episode. I'm going to fly around and show you some of the, um, some of the changes that are coming to this arc map, but um, Cryo has moved from his standard place because we're going to get a giant biome update and everything that's in this central island, basically that big chunk of land, uh, is going to get wiped and it's going to be replaced by a giant redwood forest, which will be cool. Uh, so let's bring this guy up with my parasaurs and my raptors and we'll see if I can't get him to uh, you know, wander this way, buddy. Uh, so I flew over there, and, oh, did I lose this little fool already? Come on, you dummy. Uh, so I flew over and gave a bunch of, 
uh, like, welcome to the server gifts to Jello, who, by the way, is called Jello Mutt, so maybe that's where I got the name for this little freak. Uh, we painted up some bright green armor and tools for her, went and dropped those off with uh, just some other supplies that you need when you're first getting started. So, uh, access inventory. Uh, SW Chris said something about petting them, which I don't know here. Maybe if I have nothing in my hands? No. I mean, I don't can't seem to pet them. Okay, well, why don't you, you little soft little weakling you stay here uh and we're gonna go take lord squishy and we're gonna do a little tour and i'll show you uh what's changing in this world it's gonna be a lot of stuff uh what am i putting in here oh rare flowers and i'll unload some of these uh building materials i have got guys i've got those parasaurs crammed so full of stuff it's unbelievable um they uh they're just jammed full. I think what we're going to do is build a barn for our sharks, me and Chris and Mick and I, the next time we record. And uh, and so I spent a little time off camera working with um, Forest King to gather thatch, working with uh, Splinter to gather wood, and you would not believe. So here's Donnie. It's crammed full. Walls, trapdoors, gateways, uh, hatches, windowed walls, pillars. So we got all that, and I got, if you just keep looking around, more stuff in Mikey. Leo crammed ridiculously full, I think. Let's have a look at Leo. Yeah, maxed out on 542 pounds of gear. They all have over 500 pounds of gear on them almost. So it's kind of crazy. At four pounds a thing, I have no idea. I must have got 50 odd things in here. It's crazy. But they, uh, they're they all filled up. And at some point, we're going to take these guys. We're going to wade them across the river, head over towards that shark pen. Let's go get Lord Squishy. Um, the shark pen is over there. I'm not sure if that's where we'll build. It's really shallow to try and build platforms underneath and then uh, still fit the sharks in there. So we may go over to the back side of my island out that way uh, to do that. But um, we'll take a little tour of the server. That tame was so ridiculously easy that I don't honestly know what to do with the rest of this video. So I will show you what is changing this. And I'm sorry, I've reset my map somehow. But uh, actually, sorry, not this chunk of land. Uh, yeah, it's over this way. The The big chunk of land that uh, the racetrack is on, actually. I have no idea what's going to happen with that. Um, I don't know if technically the racetrack counts, because the racetrack is on this little, this thing that, that you can see my marker flying over now, the one with sort of what looks like a lake in the middle, but there really is no lake there. But the piece of land that's just past that, if you keep going north and up towards the central lake where Cryo used to have his base. So yeah, I think the racetrack will be fine. This piece of land looks like it isn't changing. Uh, but the piece of land directly north of it, which is over yonder, uh, uh, this piece of land on the other side of these swamps uh, is changing. Everything you see here that's forest up, up raised up, that is going to become a giant redwood forest. Uh, and... Uh, if we can head further north after this, so let's see how much of this we can see if I fly straight up towards the towards the world border. But uh, there's a big change to the Arctic coming as well. So if I keep flying up, you'll see there's Cryo's old base on that lake. And this entire chunk of land with the swamps around this side, the river wraps all around the, met the mountain there, which I think is the weather top. I think that's what that mountain's called. I believe so. Um, but this whole chunk here, surrounded by rivers and swamps with this mountain on it is all changing it is all going to be turned in to a crazy redwood biome and i know a lot of people have a lot of plans uh, i think at the very least we'll come over and build a little cottage or a little cabin when the new biome uh appears once uh once it's out uh and i think i think it's going to be pretty great so if you can see basically the tip of this island goes out where the two rivers meet up there on the far side of the mountain and i think all all this is going to change uh so the racetrack is on that separate little one with that little thumb peninsula you can see right at the tip of uh, squishy's head that pointy tip that's the inlet that we have our sharks in and now where the tip of his his head is is where we've got the racetrack it wraps all around that thing so i believe the racetrack will be fine which is a lucky break for us um, and I think what I'll do is I'll head up 
for uh, the snow biome, and I'll show you where I think it's going to be expanding to. Uh, but I will take a little break, guys, because I've managed to drag this two-second taming video out a little longer. Uh, and um, I will come back with you when I'm looking at a much bigger chunk of Arctic, or a, a chunk of land that will eventually be part of a much bigger Arctic. All right, see you freaks in a minute. So this is the Arctic as it stands now. That is White Sky Peak, and you can see it's got this crazy cool long branch off to it. It looks a little bit more like a real mountain, the way that it extends in uh, multiple directions. But I think what's going to happen is this snow biome is going to cross over this river and encircle this giant mountain, the one that we're headed towards. Now, I don't think that it's going to come super far south. I don't think it'll encapsulate all these mountains. I can't remember. I probably should have looked at it before I started, but I came up with the idea to explore the map and uh, show you guys what's changing. Um, uh, I came up with this idea after the Lystrosaurus took two seconds to tame. Uh, so I think it's going to wrap all the way around, and it won't go. The first map they, they dropped, the first kind of look at the new biomes they dropped scared the hell out of me because it looked like the snow biome was going to cover the entire northern coast. Uh, if you see the mouth of the river where, let me place it, where the tip of Squishy's pointy head is, uh, that river is where we start our death run. The one that I did in episode one and the one that ideally we're going to try and make every new member of the server do. Uh, where you start naked and you run down the river and you have to make it to the Maw, which is where sort of our central base is. But my favorite part of the entire map is the Hidden Lake. And you can see the Hidden Lake coming into view. And the first, this honestly, this is where I built in my solo season, uh, my very first season of Ark. This is my third, I think. But I call it season two because I called the first one season zero. Anyway, the Hidden Lake uh, and Smuggler's Pass, which is this sort of canyon that runs behind it, these were originally part of the update, the map that they put out that was showed the new update, but now it stops, I think, right after this big mountain here, uh, which this one's called the, uh, what's it called? One of them's called the Tooth, and the other one's called the Fang. That one over there, I think, is the Fang, and I think the one behind me is the Tooth. But, um, you'll see Smuggler's Pass is, uh, Actually, I mean, this part of the map is where I spent almost all my time. That peak out there is where I was in my season one, the one uh, on the server with the young YouTuber who <laughs> stopped YouTubing Felris. Uh, right before I came over here to the Iron Mind server, uh, I was building up on that peak and out along this north shore, uh, a little past that blue beacon. Um, but I was honestly terrified, and we got people's bases up here. I can't remember whose is whose, but these ones look like they're all going to be safe, which is good news. Let's have a look and we'll see. I think who's base up here? Thor is up in this direction, but he has not been on as long as I've been on this server. So somebody's feeding his dinosaurs. Um, but this is a gorgeous part of the map. You've got this little lake here. Uh, I built a, a cottage up on the ridge if you head up towards the hidden lake through here. And the hidden lake, guys, when Iron Mine switches, whenever they do a map reset and a season three rolls around, this is where I want to build. Sadly, a couple people had already claimed it and started building here, although almost no action has taken place uh, on these builds since I joined the server. But you can see somebody's got something big in the works there. Uh, I think it's Spud Gun who's back this way. Um, but yeah, I, I adore this. I think it's probably the prettiest uh, spot on the whole map. Here, let's take a, a good look at it. It's hard to tell in the rain, but it's just gorgeous back here. And luckily, the Hidden Lake is going to survive the biome change. Um, but big things are going to happen. I mean, uh, there's this game for an early access game. I know people are quick to complain. Like, uh, my buddy Prime downloaded Ark after he'd seen me have so much fun with it. And he just got annoyed that it updated so often. But I think... To be honest, that's what I love about it. This, the people at Wildcard that make Ark, they are one of the hardest working dev teams ever. I mean, this game gets updated every week, it feels like, and they're constantly dropping big updates full of new, new additions to the game. I mean, it's often dinos, but as you can see, I mean, we're gonna have big biome changes coming up soon. It reminds me of the early days of Minecraft when a new uh, update would drop, like the 1.5 update in Minecraft, the biome update. Uh, 
when that would drop and everybody would get so excited for the game again. You'd see all your favorite YouTubers that have been away from Minecraft or slipping away from Minecraft to play other games, they'd come back. And they'd come back strong and fall back in love with the game. And to be honest, I still do that with Minecraft. 1.9 has made me fall in love. Hey, Rexy. Hi, big guy. You gonna come and get me? You fool? What level are you? A level 80? We gotta tame a Rex soon, guys. And I think... I think that is a plan for the future, but I also need to tame a new Argentavis. The funny thing is I like to build, and my building videos get the best views, but, uh... But I can't help it, I just keep wanting to tame things these days, so... Uh, I am gonna head back to my island, I will give you guys a tour of that. This, by the way, is the Maw, if you follow this river all the way to the north coast by the Hidden Lake. That's where the death run starts, and it ends right inside these walls. Um, not a whole lot going on these days here, because everybody's moved off to their own bases, but I've seen some of the less active people, uh, like Dolan is sort of the got patron of this server. He runs it, uh, has a computer going, he's constantly working to make sure it stays up, but he hasn't even had time. Ark, admittedly, is a grindy game, and I've taken long stretches off of it since I've... Oh, we're out of stamina. Okay, so I'm going to land this beast. Um... Yeah, I saw Dolan back on today, which is exciting. Uh, I, I would love, personally, to try and talk some of the, the people who have been away but are still members of the server. I'd love to try and talk them back on. Uh, I'm loving that I get to record with Mick and Chris, but there just aren't that many people active and producing co uh, content. Um, I mean, most of the people who are, I've managed to collab with, and I'm not done. I want to keep collabing and keep working with the cool people that are on the server. Oh, Alpha Raptor, check this fool out. We'll do a dive bomb attack, but I don't want to stick around and fight him. He could wreck me pretty good. Get wrecked, fool. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I'll head for my island, guys. I'll uh, show that off to you, everything we've managed to build on it. And then we'll probably call this an episode. I will be back with you guys. So you guys can now see my island in the distance up there. I call it my island. And every time I do, I think about uh, Stephen Faherty from Braveheart. When he meets uh, meets William Wallace and Hamish, and they're t he's talking about Ireland, and they go, and, it, and he just refers to it. As they go, your island? And he goes, yeah, it's my island. And then they just tell him how crazy he is, and they all laugh. Um, but yeah, I somehow got lucky enough to claim an entire island for myself. It's Crags Island, which is the southwest corner of the map, right in the shadow of the big red tower. And um, I think this is probably not at risk of changing anytime soon. Because it's named in my head, I think that the, the ARC devs have a plan for it. They have slowly been releasing these things called Explorer Notes. And what they do is they tell the story of the people who have come here before and they slowly reveal a bit of the backstory of this game. What is this place? What are those giant towers? What are the dinosaurs doing here? And how is it that everybody who plays this game wakes up on a beach with a little thing in their arm? Um, and a few of the Explorer notes have included the... Um, what are they called? The Rockwell Recipes. And there's notes, they're Explorer notes from Rockwell himself. And I can't help but think that at some point in the near future, we are going to get notes from somebody named Craig. And he's going to talk about how he came to find this island and what he came to do here. The Rockwell guy was a bit of a cook and a chemist. And I'm curious to see what kind of backstory they have in mind for Craig. Is Craig a man? Is Craig a woman? Um, but we haven't to be honest, I got big plans for this place, and that's why I need to stop making taming videos and get back to making building videos. But um, so far, we have my little hill cabin there. We have our dye shop. I have another build down to the left. That is a half-done blacksmith shop, and I think I got a promise that'll be my next video is the blacksmith shop. And we have two peaks. On this one, I want to build... I put more thought into it. I think I want to build a big house, like a mansion for myself, on... Uh, the, the original plan I'd had was for a church, but I think I've done a little exploring, and I think there's a very cool spot for a church down this away. So what I'm picturing is sort of a Caribbean uh, church, maybe with bright colors 
and I want to put it on that little ridge there and keep a lot of the pine trees and plant or pine trees, a lot of the palm trees and plants and have it be an island church. Nothing giant made of stone and looking European. I want, yeah, sort of a Caribbean island church. And on this one that has this beautifully flat top, I want to build something big for myself to live in because that hill cabin is getting small. And then what we've got over here um, is my barn. This is where we keep Shelly Long, and I've got a space in there for uh, flyers. And this mountain, this peak, and the ridge that wraps around it, I mean, the ridge that wraps around it is pretty fantastic. I'll show it to you as we go by. But it's just seaside cliffs, rocky, rocky cliffs. And I want to build a castle around here. Now, this all depends on how long we've got on this server. The Iron Mine crew are in the middle of their season two, and at some point, a season three will come. And when it does, that might be when I go over and try and build on the hidden lake. But um, I think a castle is what needs to go here. It needs to wrap around this cliff edge, maybe somewhere down here uh, among these rocks, or uh, among these rocks here is where we're going to build our shark pen. And, um, and at some point soon, I'm going to make an episode where I just spam buildings. Maybe after Chris and Mick and I have built the shark pen, I'll see how much... How many extra building materials we have but um i i the idea was to have a village here and we're nowhere close to anything resembling a village yet it's a few small sparsely you know populated buildings and so what i think we got to do is spam some small ones it's the same strategy you use in minecraft when you want to make a metropolis you make a bunch of buildings that you're never going to use that are just going to look good and are going to make the place look busy and populated and that that's what we're gonna go for in the near future. So we got a church to build, we got a you know village to populate, we've got a castle to build, and we have a massive uh, manor for me, for UTC himself to build up on this cliff up here, or up on this mountain up here. So that's what's in the works. Let me know what you're most eager to see me do next. Uh, we do have to get back to building, but today was a fun one, guys. We toured the map, we talked about biomes and the constant beautiful updates to this game that I love and that you love if you're watching it. And um, we managed to tame, on top of all that, a Lystrosaurus. Uh, we fed him rare flowers, and where are you? Uh, I can't remember where we parked him. Here he is, this little fella. This ugly little beast. Hello, sir. Pet it, oh. Get pet. Oh, what a cutie. Okay, cool, guys, that is gonna do it for this episode here. Let me go like lay down beside him or crouch down beside him. We'll, we'll do one of these. There we go, guys. So me and the mutt sitting here, hanging out, XPing up all my dinos. Beautiful. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Ark Survival Evolved. If you have watched this far into the video, do me a favor, subscribe. If you have made it this far, you are exactly the kind of person that needs to subscribe to me and watch more of my stuff. And if you're already subscribed, Click the little gear symbol between my name and my number of subscribers, approaching 400 very quickly. And then you can let yourself be notified when I post videos, which, by the way, is almost every day. So don't do that unless you're ready to be notified every damn day. But that's it for this episode of Ark Survival Evolved with our new Lystrosaurus, Mutt. And um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Be sure to let me know what you want to see me build next, and I will see you all in the next episode from myself tonight you stay cool and right